At times, we all feel lost in search of something more. This is Christina Dam, and this is the Liberate the Podcast, a podcast designed to help inspire and guide you forward through everything spirituality, creativity, art, and just giving you a sense of empowerment so that you can be powerful, be magical, and be free. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Liberate the Podcast. I'm excited to welcome one of our practitioners, Anastasia, the Anastasia. <laughs> now, she does something really cool. It's called Life Alignment, and she also is an amazing reader, does Reiki healings as well as a whole bunch of other beautiful senses that you can tap into into all of these different realms to help you along your way. But today we're going to be talking about life alignment because it's something that I don't think many people know about and it's super cool and it blew my mind away with a session I did with her recently. Yes. So welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for the beautiful intro. Hello everyone. Yeah, I want to share life alignment with everyone involved that liberate yourself it's a beautiful complex system it's a modality like i've never known which is why i studied it uh no i mean this thing is pretty cool i mean there's like graphs with like you know uh the diagrams of people and like all of these weird words and you like then it goes back to like points in your life like what happened to you when you're 24 <laughs> when and this word of fear of women is coming up and it's like what you know <laughs> That's a thing. It's extremely specific. It's very specific. And that's why I love it. It gets to the root of any kind of issue in your causal bodies, your subtle bodies, and how that manifests in our bodies. I'm sure as most of the audience can agree to and attest to that issues and karmic patterns, karmic blockages, and such that misshape us in a certain way can start or they do start in the energy bodies yeah and so we're addressing that root cause in the subtle bodies and how that links into the mental the physical the emotional and the spiritual so is this kind of like you know you see a a root like a weed growing in the garden and you're like kind of pulling it out and then you but if you yank it too hard in the beginning it just cuts the leaves off but if you kind of pull the root you kind of get it I love that you said it that way. There's no yanking too hard in this work. And I love that you said that because I think a lot of people's fear with getting into any kind of healing is that it's going to push you too far. Um, Sometimes uh, people do get thrust beyond their comfort zone. And it's a beautiful question that you asked me because this is a process that's completely supported. The soul, your soul, gives levels of permission for how deep it will go. Okay. And nothing comes up that doesn't get cleared. So there's no need to worry about facing something that you're not going to be able to get over. Um, or having it come back, right? Or you know, having it come back. now Because that's like a thing, like you think about the, this weed example, you know, um, especially in the planter boxes in the front of the store. If I pull too hard and then it just like a couple weeks later, it's like this big mass of weed again. And I'm like, right. it looked for a moment that I I won the battle with weed, but then I really didn't. Correct. So this is like pulling it out, clearing it, and saying, no more do you need to face that. Correct. Correct. I love that question. Yeah, absolutely. And it is for people who are ready to face things head on you know if if the the braver the braver you are the better I'd say um but that doesn't discount anyone who's just wanting to dip their toes in get a little feel for it um we can assess how many sessions I would need if you need a gentler approach Mm -hmm. um but yeah it is a weed clearing modality which is why I love it and I would like to say also that you know a lot of times the roots are in past lives. Yeah. And that's something through a lot of my energy work, I, I like pointed energy work where it's getting to the cause and it's very specific. Uh, but we can have huge blind spots when it comes to past lives. Uh, have you ever read Many Lives, Many Masters? Mm-hmm. I yeah. love that book. So it's, it's one of those modalities that will take you through any life that you had led before Mm -hmm. And bring the information necessary to clear whatever the cause of what you're seeking to heal. And um, the point of life alignment 
is for your soul to be comfortable fully expressing itself in the body. Hmm. So to be like fully aligned. Fully aligned. A lot of the times, most times, you know, this life is very traumatic. This world Mm -hmm. is very traumatic to varying degrees. Pain is relative. Uh, The soul doesn't always like to be in the body at all times. Um, When we, before we incarnate, we can get a little ambitious sometimes to take on a lot of stuff, to uh, clear karma or to learn through things. I mean, I call this world the boot camp of the soul because I really believe this is a place to grow and get stronger through pain and error and experience and uh, trauma, essentially. Mm. Um, But the soul has a hard time. Like once we get into this physical body, uh, the soul can have a hard time staying in it because the pain can be excruciating to Mm. varying degrees. What life alignment really does is that misshape of that soul or anything that's hanging out of the body or, you know, anything that needs to come into alignment, it lets that soul get comfortable and feel safe in the home Mm. of the body while we're experiencing this lifetime to be at its greatest potential. And Mm. yeah, so... Fascinating. Yes. And one of the things that popped into my me- mind when you were saying about how sometimes we get over ambitious before we come in, mm-hmm. I was thinking about like when people like, let's say they want to do like a double or triple, triple major at college and they're like, I can do all of this. And yes. It's like, and it's like, I can take 40 units, you know, yes. and it's like, okay, maybe not. You yes. know, like maybe you got to process and then they feel like they're burned out or that it's a little bit too Absolutely. much of their coursework. And so, you know, those are like the life lessons. It was just like a beautiful little analogy went into my brain about like, oh, yeah, because, you know, we sign up for these things on so many levels, right? And, you know, I know that your journey through the metaphysical world and um, having clairvoyance and other sentient, um, you know, uh, whatever you want to call it, six senses, uh, have started when you were really little. Yeah. You know, so you want to share a little bit about that? Because, I mean, I think that you're bringing these gifts in and, you you know, I think that you're the only life alignment person that I've come across. But um, in this area that I've met, um, but even with that saying, if even if somebody's met another life alignment person, it doesn't mean that they're coming across with all of these other and crazy like gifts that you're able to see and experience when working with somebody. And so you bring that into the session too. So let's start with like understanding where that, that came from. Ooh, uh, <laughs> that's a big question. Um, I don't want to get too much into me. Yeah, no, what, but what, whatever, you know, like yeah. maybe like at an early age or whatever, you know. I was I, definitely I born. Some, some things are private and I, we understand. Sure, sure. Uh, no, I was definitely born with a lot of gifts. Uh, one thing I'll say is I come from a family where it's common. Mm-hmm. So I did have supportive loved ones. But the gaslighting of society was a really interesting thing to go through growing up with gifts. Uh, so, um, you know, being discounted or deemed, uh, uh, what's the, what's the word I'm searching for to be, to be discounted for my experience or my perspective or my intelligence based on the gifts is a really interesting experience to go through. But I always knew that there'd be more answers in that realm. Like Mm. if I'm having an experience that, uh, if I'm having an experience that is aiding me, that is my compass, that isn't something that, wow, that's a deep question that I wasn't prepared for. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) No, it's okay. Throwing it at you. Um, you No, that's okay. I just knew, based on my gifts, that it was my saving grace. Mm. It gave me such a deep sense of there's more than what I'm experiencing. There's more going on than what meets the eye. There's more than this 3D world that we're met with, with um, all of the harshness that comes with it. Mm-hmm. And I like I give the credit to mm. my gifts for being something that like kept me going, mm. you know? Uh, having experiences and I 
And I was always looking for that as a, to go deeper into that, right? To yeah. go deeper into that because, you know, I was raised Catholic. And um, it's interesting that people can have, this isn't to discount Catholicism. There's a lot of beauty in that religion. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting that people can adhere to a set of beliefs. But anybody who experiencing something that sounds like maybe some of the biblical stories that you yeah. adhere to can be, you know, uh, can, it, it's impossible. Yeah. Like that was a really interesting disconnect for me. So it was like, how was it possible then at this period of time? And why wouldn't you think that that possibility could exist at our period? In right. Time? Like you if know, you like believe it, in angels, when a little kid's coming to tell you and saying, oh, I saw an angel. Yeah. Like, why is that crazy? Yeah. You know, so it's interesting in society, the gaslighting around this kind of spiritual work. Um, or spiritual experiences. Um, but hey, if the government's admitting aliens, then we certainly can integrate <laughs> psychics, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, but it's the interesting yeah. aspect of, you know, if you go into the government use of psychics and seers for, you know, some of these movies, you know, it was the, even, I mean, I think they did that part in The Matrix where they had all the kids working on their uh, psychic abilities, but there's been a couple movies with that where mm -hmm. it's been depicting of these, like, uh, secret service or organizations where they kind of really work with extremely gifted individuals to bring those gifts even more right. activated. They call and, them viewers. Yeah, and they use them. They you know? sure do. And there's been psychics that are used and, you know, different different case findings and other things like that you know Correct. of course they have to find all the other evidence to support they can't just be like oh yeah the psychic led me to this you know thing but they find the other stuff to you know build that case right with the yeah. the forensic evidence to support it but it's interesting that you know more and more people are I think in this time starting to become open for something that I believe years ago we were far more open to. I agree. And I think it's, um, I think that was part of a big disempowering process. A way to control the people was to cut them off from their spiritual experience or their abilities. And my mission in this life, what I'm super passionate about is empowering people. Mm. Whether that's through exploring their own psyches through art or getting into some deep healing with life alignment. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an empowering process to become, to become your own leader in your own life. Yeah. And that's really what getting into this deep soul work does. It gets you to start on your path. You're not being led around by anyone by the nose. Like this is your life. This is your experience. Yeah. And I'm just here to, I want to support that. I yeah. want to support everyone on their journey. Yeah. And, and, and the interesting thing about life alignment, you know, which is that it gets to, at least my experience with it, is it's really fast and, and gentle clearing. You know, like I know people like get scared of doing healing work or whatnot, but uh, there's also a belief system that people have that if it's easy, it's not that can't be possible or like it needs to be hard work or, you know, like there's this belief system that, you know, like it's got to take a long time to change. Right. And, huh. you hear, and you hear these things within people's like, you know, the, it, things don't come easy. Things, things, you know, um, good things take time. You know, like you, these are like quotes or like, uh, uh, belief systems that are cast into the, psyche of society sure right? is. and so then when people come and they're like okay I you know I'm gonna try this and I've been feeling off or whatever and then like they walk out and suddenly everything's different it's interesting you talk about that because there's definitely I think I've not that I think I've had experiences where people not everybody is ready for the change mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who are seeking but really just want like a tiny little shift and then they got to go make their life hard again because that's something that they're doing to themselves. It's a bit of self-sabotaging involved in that along with ingrained beliefs, whatever they were, um, and, and whatever when, they were taught. When did you find life alignment? You know, because you've, you know, since uh, 
you know, we didn't get too much into your past, we won't go in there, but like, you know, having these, these tremendous gifts and working through things as a child and young adult. And, you know, and I know that, uh, you, you, you know, did Reiki come first and then you did life alignment. And then like, what was that introduction to it? And where did it click for you that this is something I want to learn or do? So it's interesting. Between those two, I got very into EFT. Okay. And I found, for me, if it's not fast and it's not, if I'm not seeing results. Then see, you want it fast. And see, I want it fast and I know, want results. But do you know that it can be the possibility of fast? You know? I suppose so. Yeah. 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 You know, I, there was an inner knowing for me with on that level that there's just got to be something that. Yeah, that click. clicks fast. And uh, so I, between those, uh, Reiki and life alignment, I was doing EFT. And I had a lot of great results with EFT, but mm -hmm. I also came up against block, uh, walls, mm -hmm. some stuff I couldn't see. So I was introduced through life alignment uh, in a kind of yeah, serendipitous way, I suppose. Um, I was seeking, okay. right? You're putting that message out there. That's a that's a thing. We're communicating so much more on a subconscious and intuitive level than um, than anyone really. Well, probably not the audience, but most people will give it credit for. Yeah. And uh, I remember I was at a after party of a concert, and I was got into a deep conversation with someone about. Um, about healing and mm -hmm. energy healing. And I was talking about EFT and they started talking about their mother who, you know, uses the system and showed me their vortex cards. And I was like, wow, huh. what is this? I don't know what this is. I want to know. I'm a very curious person. I love to learn. So I asked for her number and he gave me her number, uh, Elizabeth Lana. And she... I guess it was years ago, but she started working on me and I wasn't, I didn't understand that you could, this is something that you can do all the time. So I was getting maybe a session once every six months or so. Mm -hmm. And, and then when I, she kind of alluded to the fact that, you know, you can keep coming in and like really get these shifts going. And I saw shifts every time, but when I really dedicated myself to the practice, it was completely life-changing for me um it brought in oh god I've probably gone through like 30 past lives just clearing and wow. aligning you know dealing with that karma dealing with how that is affecting me in the now which is uh fascinating um but it's it was just such a deeper more comprehensive cleanse because no stone goes left unturned yeah. And that's what I was looking for, was something where it can give me the exact cause and shift it. Yeah. And I want results now. So that's... <laughs> yeah, I love it. So you started doing it, like, you know, going every six months or so, clearing, clearing. And, you know, for those that are listening, it, you know, think about this as like an onion. You peel a layer away, then another layer. Because as, you know, we we're mentioning, hey, this can happen instantaneously. But how many different variables do you need to clear? You know, like... How many different the, variables and how much do you want to clear? Yeah. Because you can go through maybe There's three or four layers and you're good. You're happy with that. Yeah. But I just... Yeah, want to see you're where the center is. <laughs> well, and then also, like, you know, the, I think then you're getting into the higher spiritual principle. One is about being in alignment. Two is about how much can your soul evolve, right? Correct. And so when you get into that, which many people that might be listening are already on that path through your meditations or the different things, it's like how, how much more so I don't have to come back and reincarnate in this body anymore. What are the lessons or other lessons do I need to learn or how much more can I develop? So, yeah. I mean, that's beautiful. So, I mean, you don't have to just work on clearing the weeds. You can also work on planting the seeds, right? You know, absolutely. And, and so then you started coming a little bit more frequently. Yeah. Yes, and I'd like to add as well, um, especially for your viewers who aren't in California, my mentor is in Denver. So all the healings I was getting was long distance. I know mm. a lot of people feel like in-person is better. I'm telling you, with energy work, it does not matter. As you well know, with long distance Reiki or readings as such, the physical presence doesn't matter. I was getting insane results through the phone. Yeah, absolutely. You enjoying this so far? 
Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. So, I mean, we are all energy, and if you can tap into that energy, you can tap into any energy and any plane and any existence on anything. It's like if, if, you know, you're having a hard time wrapping your head around it, when's the last time you thought about somebody that was thinking about you when they're maybe in a different area of a city or maybe a different state? Maybe it's a relative. Maybe it's your, like your mom or a close friend or a sister or a brother or whatever the case, but you feel them and they feel you. Mm -hmm. And, but there was no phone or internet or any of that communication. It was that energy you tapped into. Right. And, you know, some people like, they say like a lot of uh, mother daughter connections can be like that where the mother knows when the daughter's upset or anxious, or there's a problem going on without ever speaking or talking or, or being next to just having that feeling because the energetic vibration and connection is in that same realm. And so they can feel their energy. And so Correct. You know, just to base your mind to wrap it around a little bit. So, I mean, sometimes, you know, it might sound hooey wooey, but it's, there's, there's base to it. There is base to that. I would even expand that a little bit to if, uh, if that's not an experience that you've had, what are the patterns that you see around you? You can look at this. I mean, some people astrologically keep certain signs around them. I, I like to get into people's dating patterns to see mm -hmm. like uh, there tends to be a consistency in a person that you attract. There tends to be an experience that you keep on repeating. And there's been studies on this um, where uh, we'll go a little darker. Um, a woman who is used to being with an alcoholic, abusive man, right? Mm -hmm. They've done studies where they will put her in a room with various men and the one that she'll narrow in on and be attracted to is that man who still has that pattern of alcoholic abusiveness. Mm -hmm. And that is that intuitive communication that a lot of us just, you know, we go, um, we stay blind to, whether it's, it's um, because we refuse to look at that because we're, you know, doing this to ourselves or because we just don't know. Um, but there's patterns all in this world. And if there's a pattern that you consistently see show up in your life, whether it's friendships, a loved one, dynamics, mm -hmm. um, it's time, you know, that's something that we can ship. That's part of something yeah. that you're bringing into that life. And people don't like that either as much as, you know, uh, that you have, responsibility yeah and what you're creating around you in your relationships or like why would I choose this that's something you hear a lot oh God, it's like yeah. in hard lives why would I choose this and you say you know yeah maybe you consciously wouldn't choose that but the energetic pattern or existence and you know you can peel it away all the way down to you know, maybe they're, you know, the abusive relationship and, you know, I hope we're not offending anybody, but if we are, you know, like, you know, maybe we need to work through it with you. But if there's an abusive relationship, maybe the abuse started when you were a child, maybe mo mother or father or caretaker was abusive towards you and that became a familiarity. It doesn't mean that you enjoy it. It doesn't mean that you actively sat, saw, sought it out. But it also doesn't the, mean that it was fair, right? Yeah, and, it's, and, it's, it, it's not, you know, life is isn't a balanced fair experience otherwise we wouldn't be here <laughs> yeah um, um, but the beauty in that is noticing these pattern vibrations if we go back to what you were saying Anastasia about sticking somebody into a room and who are they attracted to tends to be whatever that pattern is correct. of their repair whether it's a abusive or it could easily be Mr. Charming Good you know and it could be Possible. this other person here or this other person there but the beautiful thing about it is the patterns, once you shifted and you have a pattern that you actually want, right? then you stick yourself in that room and then you're going towards things that support your ideal sense of what you truly value or want or what you feel is easier, or more enjoyable. You're and, in line with what your ideals are and what you're bringing in because yeah. that's the thing. It's, it's, it's that struggle between what we consciously want and what we unconsciously want yeah. or bring in. Um, 
And again, this is a, this is a, a space for, you know, this is a space for everyone to feel wherever they're at with their pain safe ultimately. But what we have to realize is regardless if you feel like um, some people feel empowered. I feel empowered feeling like the things I've gone through in this life was part of like what I decided to take on and part of my karmic clearing and, and journey. That might feel really offensive to some people yeah. and that's okay um, but then there's another way to look at it if it's not if it's offensive to you then but then where do you want to take control and say well oh, that's what I, I was getting to yeah. like regardless of where you're at with it the healing does has to be with you it has to be with you so however you frame it like you know and, and it's fine and there's no judgment in however you come for healing whether you feel you know and granted everyone has those phases of feeling completely victimized and feeling like life is out of control, that's inevitable, doesn't matter. What matters is that it starts with you. It starts mm -hmm. with you taking the reins and getting into the healing and you know clearing it out. It's not about what's right or wrong or what's fair or who did what or I didn't do this or deserve it at the end of the day. That's, it's about moving forward and making that conscious choice for yourself. And again, yeah. becoming the leader of your life versus feeling like people are dragging you around and it's all possible. Yeah. Do you want to share your life alignment experience? I can, yeah. I would love that. Okay, so um, I went into life alignment wanting to try it out, you know, and my thing was I was having these repetitive patterns around having some anxiety around things financial and really discovering that, hey, I have an issue with completing things that are for me, right? We might look and say, oh, well, you have, a, you have a couple businesses or you do other things or whatever. But the bottom line is the, the reward at the end of the tunnel. It's not like they're like uber profitable or like, you know, when it comes time for me to actually have this like reward or to see some of my projects actually get to the next layer of fulfillment. Easy, putting them together easy pushing them through, easy getting them to the, the, to the finish line, but following past the finish line and actually beyond the finish line into a level that would come back to me and allow me to receive something, absolutely not. Wasn't going to happen, right? You know? And so I went into life alignment saying, I need to shift this. Like, something's got to give. I can't keep on working forever for nothing, you know? And, um, and I have a lot of these projects that like different TV shows, movies, a book, which is what we were kind of worked on other aspects and old tech companies, things that I'm like, I need this. I want, I put so much love into this. It's so good. It just needs to see the light of day. Mm -hmm. So we did a session and worked on some clearing around that. And I had a book that I wrote six or seven years ago finished during the pandemic I said okay I'm gonna finally take it to an editor and do like an editing pass at it in the beginning of the pandemic I did that then it's done waiting to move forward and I had it with a publisher and the publisher's like you know we just really need like a couple endorsements for it and it's ready to print oh that's where my block was <laughs> asking people to do something for me and help. Okay. But also I, I went out and I actually managed to do that in it pushed through. It took me like six months to finally get to that point. I sent out these endorsements and I said, I said, can you endorse it? I heard nothing back from no one. Okay. And now I'm like offended at this point. Cause I'm like, Oh, so we do the life alignment session. And I kid you not the very next day, Nothing changed. I didn't re-reach out to anybody. Not one, not two, not three, but four people either contacted my publisher or me directly and sent in, in testimonials. Yes. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me just do the statistical probability of this. <laughs> it was quite amazing. You know, I'm like, okay. I, I mean, just the likelihood the very next day, four 
you know? Yeah. And yes, these people, you know, you can argue and say they were reached out to already. Yes, I get that. But they were reached out to over a course of months, months ago. And so, like, the likelihood that that would have all transpired on the same day to be in alignment seemed very odd when I heard crickets before. Okay. The dam broke and it flooded in. Yeah. And so then I got my four testimonials and the book will be coming out. And finally, you know, yes. there we go. Yes. One mark off. <laughs> yes. So I need to do some more work on the other stuff. <laughs> yes. Um, I, yes, I love that story. That I'm so excited for you and I'm so proud of, of all that you've accomplished. I admire, I admire you and your, um, how you take on the endeavors. And it was really great to see that. Oh, thank you. No, I was so like, I, and so then I was like, Oh my God, like, and, and I was telling one of my friends that ended up getting a session with Anastasia too. And, and I was just like, I was like, and she knows that I've been sitting on this damn book for years. <laughs> and, and I was like, I was like, you know, um, what, what are the chances? She's like, Christina, there is no chance. Like something <laughs> cleared. Like and energetically now the energy was different for you to receive some support or to actually put something out that would have been for you because right. this will be a book you know, that I wrote for me and it's not benefiting my business or anything else, you know, mm -hmm. like it, it, it was a very specific area yeah. of you getting out into the world and it was just, yeah, clear. So, so yeah. it's interesting. Yeah. Um, I've seen firsthand, um, autoimmune diseases clear. Oh, really? With enough work. Yes. Uh, I am, uh, I can attest to that. Um, I've dealt with endometriosis that I don't have to deal with any longer. Um, I've seen money blockages as always, you know, that's such a complex, uh, layered area in our beliefs, in our energy, in, in, you know, what has transpired and what we're accustomed to, you know, getting past and through that I've seen money also come in the very next day and in ways that you know you're not anticipating um which uh yeah this sounds it can sound a bit like snake oil like it's a you know like yeah. hot, but it, it's it's just it's it's real it's it's but it's, it's a know. magnificent modality that we that was brought to us by dr jeff levine and um, I just, I feel like this is now, it started in the 90s, I mm -hmm. believe. Um, but we're getting to a place where people are really ready to unlock and transcend. And I think, um, I think it's, it's really ready to grow and expand. And this is, this is for everyone. This is for yeah. everyone. Well, everybody has their own life that they can be in alignment with and integrate more parts of their soul absolutely and experience a little bit more fully what life is all about I mean I think if you get rid of all of the the blockages or the weight that's weighing down just like if we go back to the first example of the gardening if you pull out all the weeds can the flower or the tree not grow more beautifully and absolutely. magnificent you know it's not suffocated anymore it's not limited anymore absolutely. you know just that that act of clearing you can end up with, you know, a 10 times bigger tomato plant. Right? Correct. You know? Correct. <laughs> and it's like you just pull a few things away down there and you get a 10 times bigger plant. So imagine what's capable for you if you pull some of these weeds away. Absolutely. Absolutely. And for those that are searching to have a more intimate connection with spiritual guides or to meet your guides or to learn more of yourself in that spiritual realm, this is a great modality for that. Um, you, I do have people who meet guides through the sessions, uh, creating protection, maybe ending contracts with guides that aren't necessarily right for you any longer or can sometimes be harming you. Um, that may be a little too deep for right now, but all so, these so are possibilities. Like you, you, you incorporate some shamanic work in there yes, too. Yes. And that's what I was talking about when I started saying, okay, Maybe there's a couple other people that might do life alignment if you look it up, but you know, there's all of these other beautiful gifts with all of your, your abilities that you bring Thank to the you. table and see, you know, Thank you. she can see like no other. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, um, I, I'm very diligent with, um, looking around and seeing, um, if there's any kind of entity that's wreaking havoc 
there's thought forms, there's implants, there's, uh, you know, what's interesting is even someone, if you don't have the right protection, when someone focuses a negative uh, emotion towards you, as you know, that can work like a hook. Oh, yeah, yeah. But can also work as a type of curse, you know, mm -hmm. when someone's focusing that kind of energy, um, you can get hit with these things and not, you know, not that's something that's beyond your control and that's something that we can clear and we can give you the proper protection so you are not susceptible to those things any longer mm, beautiful yeah when you take and remove those types of things the energy that comes back to you you know when you if if there's drains on your energy um in your energetic field it's like all of that energy it's like instead of being this leaking like i don't know you have a water jug and all the the there's holes in it everywhere. It's really not like staying too full because right. it can't, right? You know, and so even right. if you're like really trying to replenish yourself and right. you say, okay, I'm I'm doing the right things, I'm eating the right foods, I'm taking the right nutrients, I'm I'm exercising, I'm sleeping well, but I'm always drained. It right. might actually be something else that's going on, and maybe getting Absolutely. a session can help. Fill you. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've really enjoyed the prana healings that mm -hmm. at this facility yeah. that, you but know. I mean, even the life also, alignment oh, stuff, you're mo moving those hooks and stuff like absolutely. that and filling you up, you know. Absolutely. And, yeah. Yeah. So when do, would you say is the best time for somebody to come in and get a life alignment? I think it's when you're in the throes of things. Uh, there's a saying, the deeper the feeling, the deeper the healing. When you're feeling like mm -hmm. the worst coming for a session a lot of people uh i've realized feel like they need to prepare that they're not in the right place for it the messier and the uglier it is for you that is the moment when you're yeah. feeling off stressed depressed you know name it you name it i don't care how dark it is coming for a session that is the perfect time that is when everything is at the surface and you're walking around with it and it's just there to be played with and released realigned released mm. i love that yeah oh, amazing and do you have any like social handles or anything you'd like to share where people can find you i actually don't have socials right now oh, okay so then we'll, we'll skip that part <laughs> when i do i will let everyone know but right as of right now detoxing I'm so, from there I'm social media free oh yeah. that's beautiful it's i'm like half social media free i'm like instagram free and i have a facebook but i hardly go on it yeah and the instagram is that i, I occasionally will look at is the shop one but sure. but i'm like i don't even know who the heck we follow so it's not like you know sure <laughs> sure it's interesting instagram is um yeah it's it's interesting because it's a, really an energetic imprint you're putting out well, there well, well, and it, you can feel in, in but the I interaction say, i was gonna say even the few minutes that i go on it i'd be like oh like yeah, i'm like i'm draining. like i'm like all right i'm glad i don't spend my time on this all the time <laughs> yeah <laughs> not that you guys might be seeing this and watching this on instagram so this is a good thing that you you actually got this on or youtube you know social media is a it's a beautiful tool but can also be a terrible tool you can't get away from those dichotomies in life you know there's always that double-edged yeah. sword of everything of everything well it's been a beautiful conversation today learning more about life alignment um is there anything else that you'd like to share before we wrap up anything else i'd like to share i just really want to invite anyone who might be hearing this conversation who has any more interest i'm here at liberate yourself i'm here for questions for any kind of consultation i'm here to support you on your journey i salute all that are on their own path uh, this is a great modality to incorporate in any kind of work any kind of belief system you ad adhere to come check it out and see if it's if it works for you I'm quite certain it will. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. And I hope everybody, you know, if you like this, you find it intriguing, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, if you're listening to this on an audio play, you know, whether iTunes or uh, Spotify or one of those, check out our YouTube. We're trying to grow the the visual and then you get to see us yes. and so that's always fun but and then share 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 like and comment because then we can keep on educating you about all things amazing metaphysical and how to align 
you. So come in and get a life alignment. Thank you and until next time. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this conversation, please like it, subscribe and share it with your friends. If you want to hear more about what we have going on and happening online or in, in the neighborhood, check out liberateyourself.com and sign up for our mailing list. Uh, also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Liberate Yourself. It's you are self, you are S-E-L-F. Until next time, be powerful, be magical and be free.